Um, I, I, I think there's going to be hardware unveiled. You think there will but be? I think, I think that's what it means by, by robo-taxi, is that, that we're finally going to get to see it. Okay. Um, Port France has been like probably well over a year now. It's just like, I just want, you know, he just wants to reveal this thing. So, so it, it's like it's so it's so far along. I mean, they they've been they've been working on it and refining it. That um, I think you know they're really ready. And they probably so robot taxi means we're going to see something that does not have uh, pedals, does right. not have a steering wheel. Now, it doesn't mean there probably won't be some sort of um, steer by wire way of being able to do it. You know, maybe almost like you know a simple wireless controller that could be used to to move the car if you need to, you know, either for emergency measures or something, or even remotely, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be some way to be able, but you don't need the physical hardware in there to right. be able to do it. Right. So I mean, you just think about it is, is, is all you have to do is take the CAN bus now, right? And you plug into the CAN bus and you can control your car. Yeah. That's exactly how um, Kama AI and others work. So, you yeah. know, it's like, you can do something like that. So it's not that hard to go in there to be able to get your car to be able to drive. Yeah. So you can imagine, well, it, then it wouldn't be that hard to come up with a controller that you could just kind of put in there that you'd be able to steer. And it doesn't mean you'd be using to actually drive the car. It's just like if you get into a sticky situation yeah. and, you know, difficult to park or something like that. Now, I, I think there's a lot of things of like, uh, in order to be robo-taxi, it, it has to get that last, you know, 10%. You know, the, the 90% is easy yeah. compared to the last 10%. It just gets harder and harder and harder. And a lot of, the, you know, you can look at John, he did a top 10 list. And, you know, one of his up there, I think was like two, two or three was like, well, I, I wish it would, you know, pull into my driveway and into my garage and stuff like that, just kind of finish it off. You know, in some ways it seems like, isn't that like really easy? I mean, isn't that like almost where you would start being able to, to do something like that? And from the standpoint of the a robotaxi, it probably, it's not important because the idea of a robotaxi is not to park in your garage. Right. It's not even to pull into your driveway right. necessarily. Right. I mean, there may be some situations you wish it would be there, but a lot of times it's just like, to be able to pull over to the side of the road, yeah. allow yeah. a person to get it. You know, ideally you like to go in there because in some roads, maybe it's a bit safer, but you know, in cities, there's like no place to pull over. I mean, that's right. what the taxi does. It rarely does it pull in. So those little finesse items, if you want to think about them, may not be critical to the deployment of this. If you're thinking about it, it's like, I park it in my car in my garage and then just push a button and let it go. Everything, it might be like, oh, I wish I could back out and do stuff like that. But again, they're putting the focus where the focus needs to be and not looking at something like that. So I think we'll see some hardware and the overall, my, my guess is it's probably a two seater. Mm -hmm. and, and if you happen to be a big fan of the cyber truck, you might also be interested in this super fun cyber truck refrigerator magnet and bottle opener. It is made out of super thick stainless steel, just like the Cybertruck. And it has this giant magnet on the back, so it's gonna hold a lot of stuff on your refrigerator. It's an amazing gift, and it comes in that great gift box that you saw before uh, that uses a magnet opener, just almost like an Apple box, you know, like when you get Apple products. You can buy it on Amazon for $29.95, or you can buy it direct from me by sending $25 to paypal.me forward slash Randy Kirk, all in lowercase letters. Please indicate whether you want the stainless steel look or maybe you'd like to have this very clever camo version. And then if you're not in the US, please add $20 for freight. If you'd like more than one, please check the information below to get pricing as well as all that information I just told you will be repeated in the information below. So once again, think about joining the channel Getting the up-to-date Tesla news every single day, I think you'll be glad you did.